hi guys welcome back i first of all want to say i'm so sorry about my voice i am just getting over the kind of really grim flu cold that's going around london at the minute but yeah today's video is a q a i popped on my instagram i want to say like a week ago now um of what kind of things you guys would want to see and Loads of people said to start with a kind of like get to know me style Q&A. But yeah, I'm really sorry about my voice. I literally can't stand how I like sound at the minute. But I'm going to Milan on the weekend and I wanted to kind of vlog that and everything. But yeah, I wanted to get this up kind of before that vlog and have this as one of the first videos on here. So without further ado, I'll start with, to be honest, it's so weird to see like some questions that are asked because you just assume people know things about you. Maybe that sounds stupid, but one of the questions is um, where are you from and how old are you? So I am 24 years old and I come from a place called Hertfordshire. Nobody has ever heard of Hertfordshire. So usually, you know, when you go on holiday and people are like, where are you from? Usually it's just London. Um, Technically, I was born in London. I was born in a place called Enfield. Um, but yeah, moved to Hertfordshire about, I want to say like 15 years ago. So that is where I'm from. Then, okay, one of the most like popular questions was all about my job. So I know from the get-go, people have always been really, really curious about my job, like intrigued, want to know more. So... Let's find some like more in depth ones. How did you get into the job? How did you get into your job role? Um, are you still working in London? Do you still work as a PA? Would love to know more about what you do in the role. There's also loads of questions like how I got into it and stuff like that. So basically, yes, I still have my job in London. So I work as an executive assistant. My like technical job title is executive assistant um, and it's essentially a PA so a personal assistant so yeah I have done that since I left school really I work for one lady and basically within the role that I'm in now it is so heavily diary management so she is kind of back to back on calls I've never seen a diary like it like it's something like you've never seen in your life she is like back to back on 30 minute calls from 8 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock at night like the poor woman does not stop but yeah she's amazing so I work for her and support her basically and day to day it is diary so it's client facing moving meetings around sometimes she has like day to day she has three four meetings at the same time so we have to like work out whether she's gonna join both, reschedule. Um, she travels a lot, so it's booking travel, doing all of like her time sheets, um, which is kind of like how she builds her time, how companies like earn money, her expenses, um, and then kind of like day-to-day -day admin tasks. I basically run her work life, if you will. Sorry, cough break. Um, but I think people think that you can kind of walk straight into a PA job, which is really, really hard to do. <clears throat> Sorry. So I started as a receptionist in London um, as soon as I left school. Was a receptionist for a couple of months and then internally um, got promoted to more of kind of like a team assistant, then onto a personal assistant, and then I moved companies. I worked at my previous company for just under five years as, started there as a team assistant and then after a year got promoted to an executive assistant. So all in all, I have like six-ish years um, experience, but probably only four or five as an EA. If you are looking to get into a similar sort of role, I would say, and you've got no experience, I would say start as kind of start looking for team assistant roles that is kind of your way in and then usually there's ways to move up to an EA PA um 
but yeah it is really really hard to just kind of walk into a PA role with no kind of team assistant or admin assistant experience really hope that makes sense but yeah I feel like I could literally make a whole video based on my job itself but yeah to kind of keep things short and sweet we're going to move on from job so next question so loads of the questions were kind of about makeup hair tutorials what skincare i use or things like that and i think i'm actually going to incorporate stuff like that into a vlog whether i like put it into one big like products i use vlog so i can actually show you like me using them rather than me sitting here like i use this i use this like i'd want to go into more like depth about it so yeah bear with me on that one another question is did you buy a house or are you still looking um unfortunately the property that i was buying fell through i say unfortunately it was the biggest blessing in disguise so the answer to that is no i'm not still buying or i'm not still in the process of buying but i do want to want to buy a property this year the whole of the back end of last year i was in the process of buying a apartment flat um i was doing it on my own and basically the long and the short of it is i pulled out purely because there was so many red flags um like for example i paid for searches of the property as you do like i don't i don't really know the ins and the outs of buying a property but i know you pay for searches um so i paid for them i never got them i asked for them in the kind of six seven months that i was in the process i never got to see them <clears throat> um i was essentially forced into using a solicitor that was linked with the estate agents that i was buying through and had something to do with the developer of my property so that was like my mum actually did flag that at the beginning it was like can she not use her own solicitor and <clears throat> the estate agent was like no like we'd rather keep it all like close together like neatly in a bow kind of thing um which looking back now was hor like was the worst decision i started the whole process off in like june and heard nothing from the solicitor until end of september october time in which case it was just an email that was like here's your contract sign them and send them back um no like phone call nothing um and in the contract again i'm not really sure of what contracts what um but to us it looked more like a rental contract than i was actually buying the property so for example it included things like if i wanted to sell the flat that i was buying i had to seek approval from the developers i couldn't paint walls i couldn't change my carpet anything that anything to do with it i couldn't change without seeking approval from the developers everyone says that when you're moving out communication with estate agents is terrible solicitors is terrible like i experienced that but that never really bothered me because to be honest i was in like no rush um the property that i was buying was more it wasn't my dream first home. It's so expensive to move out where I'm, I'm from, where I live. Willow is at the door. I think they kind of saw me as like a quick sale, tell her anything she needs, like she wants to hear in order to get her like through the door. Um, again, another thing was I put a deposit down to reserve um, like the plot that I wanted, the flat that I wanted. I had so many people say it's, if you if you pull out it's 100 percent like refundable um everything like that and lo and behold it wasn't refundable the developers like refusing to give me my deposit back um <clears throat> so yeah i think it's like a blessing in disguise by my mortgage advisor actually said when i called him to pull out he was like mom you are not making like a mistake or like the wrong decision like wait for things to settle and then kind of see again in six months so that is the plan of action yes <laughs> there is obviously loads about how me and jamie met when we met uh, we actually met in 
Portugal last year. Um, no, two years ago now. So we met in June or May 2021. Met in a little rooftop bar kind of thing um, in Villa Mora. It's actually a funny story. Neither of us were supposed to be at that bar that night. Me and the girls I was with, we had dinner plans elsewhere, um, like not even in Villa Mora. And we basically had to get a last minute COVID test, I think, um, for my sister's friend that was going home earlier than us. And the only place we could get booked in was Villa Mora. So we kind of scrapped our plans where we were staying um, and went to Villa Mora and then ended up in that bar. And Jamie and his friends weren't staying in Villa Mora either. They had plans elsewhere, but I think their dinner plans had fallen through or something. Um, and they ended up in Villa Mora and in the same bar. So yeah everything happens for a reason trust the process any trips coming up so as i said earlier on in this video we have a weekend in milan this weekend and then we have we literally booked our summer holiday in june <clears throat> we booked that last week basically jamie's like dream holiday destination along with kind of like Australia is America um, he's never been really really wants to go and it's literally one of my favorite holidays to do so we are doing kind of similar to what I did last year if you followed if you followed me on Instagram since then um, we're kind of doing like a little city jump in from kind of place to place which I actually think is so worth doing if you are going to America, it's such a long way and if you've got time, then I'd kind of definitely say try and fit in as many places as you can. Um, the internal flights are so cheap, they're literally like, some of them, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure like New York to Nashville or New York to Miami or something was like £50 and, you, and it's like an hour and a half, two hours. You wouldn't think twice about doing like a night in Manchester and sitting on the train for that. But they are two holidays booked. There's also loads of questions about Willow. Um, we got Willow in November. The first week of November, I think. I think we got her on the 5th of November. Um, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, I will pop a picture of Willow here. She's like the cutest. But yeah, loads of people are like, how is she getting on? Jamie's out in the garden playing with her at the minute and she's looking at me through the sliding door like, why are you not playing with us? Um, but yeah, she has been a dream 90% of the time, I'll say. Like 90% of the time she is a dream. 10% of the time we think she has the devil in her. Um, <clears throat> but I think that is just her breed. So she is a miniature dutch hound i never know how to pronounce that like that word dutch hound dutch hound i've kind of grown up with dogs so i've always known the sacrifice that dogs are but she is like our child like we don't really go anywhere without her my mum and dad are obsessed with her so they've been a really big help because yeah dogs are hard work they are the most loving and like loving breeds of dogs I've ever come across like she will kiss and cuddle you all day like 23 hours of the day when she's not running around like a total loon somebody else put what is your handbag at the moment and I can show you my handbag is there this little cutie is my handbag at the minute so yeah that is my handbag at the moment it's from a brand called pollen i think i'm saying that right i might like pop it on the screen it is like that is a perfect example of you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on a really good quality bag like don't get me wrong that, that's not cheap by any stretch that's i think about 370 pounds however when you compare it to kind of huge brands that are thousands of pounds i'd see no difference in like 
quality there. Um, so yeah, that is my day today. Bye. Say hi. We were just talking about you. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <gasps> You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Go on in. Go on in. One of the questions is, what did you get for Christmas? I'm always so nosy with stuff like that. Like, I love to know what people got for Christmas. Um, but what did I get for Christmas this year? It was like so long ago. Um, Jamie got me a beautiful bracelet. He smashed it out of the park, really, and got me tickets to Chris Brown. So me and Jamie are going to see Chris Brown. Um, and he also got me and my whole family. So his kind of Christmas present to my mum, my dad and Grace my sister, um, <clears throat> was tickets to see Luke Combs. So if you know me or follow me on Instagram, you will know like I am obsessed with country music. And Luke Combs is up there with one of the best. So yeah, he got me concert tickets to see Luke Combs and Chris Brown, which for me, I would take like experiences and like doing things over like a materialistic present any day of the week and that's something that me and Jamie have in common so for his Christmas present from me I'm taking him to Milan that was his Christmas present um because yeah we'd much rather do something and spend our money on spending time with each other and yeah doing things seeing new places and then I got kind of just top ups of things so like top ups of perfumes makeup um my mum does the same thing every year where she will literally like replenish my makeup. So like get me my mascara, get me moisturiser, everything like that. I'm trying to think what else I got for Christmas. Actually, I got, just before Christmas, I bought the iPad with Christmas money that I knew I was kind of going to be getting for Christmas, if that makes sense. Like nans and granddads and stuff like that was like, what do you want? And I was like, I honestly want to buy the iPad. So if you want to like contribute towards that. So that is actually something I bought. I absolutely love it. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I use it every day. I use it for work now. Um, so I put kind of all my work emails on there and just find it so much easier to like... So yeah, I even work off there because I find that the way emails and Outlook and everything's laid out on there is so much nicer than on... I think we use like Lenovo at work. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Yeah, hopefully we'll be back with the Milan vlog hopefully when I sound myself again and I don't sound like a dying man and hopefully that will be my next video up so yeah thank you so much for watching